Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Frahad and in this video we will learn that how to make a table of demographic profile of survey participants and how we can report this table according to APA 7th edition. If you are new to our channel and you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to create some tables of demographic profiles of the participant from a data file in SPSS software. And then we will see that how we can make a table according to APA 7th edition. Most of the student create different table or create separate tables for all of the demographic profile of the survey participant. Like if we ask, what is your gender? What is your age? What is your area? What is your education and your marital status? Most of the students confuse this thing and they create separate tables for each of the demographic profile. But there is no need to create different or separate tables for each of the demographic profile. You can make a comprehensive table for all of the demographic profile of the survey participants. So let's see here I have a data file and I'm going to click on analyze. Here I can see descriptive statistics. I'm going to frequencies. Here I can move all of the variables for which I want to create a demographic profile. Like what is your gender? Where do you live? What is your qualification? And in which semester do you study? And in which department you are currently studying? There is no need to put those variables in this box which are measured on interval or ratio level. Mostly we do not put the put those variables which are measured on ratio level because there is no need to tell all of the details of the participant, what was their age. You can mention the mean or average of their age. Like I can mention that the, all of the, my participant has 23.2 average age. So there is no need to tell the frequency of the age of the participant and uh, you can use the uh, mean or average for those variables which are measured on ratio level. So these variables are measured on uh, nominal level. So I'm going to mention them here. If you are using 27, 28 or 29 version of SPSS, you will get a following box create APA style tables. But if you are using before 27 version, you, you do not find such kind of box under the variable box. So I'm going to click this one, but it doesn't make any difference. So next, the next thing I have to do is simply to click on OK button. And here I can see that I have found all of the table like what is your gender, where do you live, where what is your qualification. So what mistake student make they create a separate table like they are going to copy all of this information and they will put this information into word file they will they they will mention it like this and then they are going to create the description of this table but that's not the right way to report the demographic table according to apa 7th edition or any previous edition of apa what you can do here I have a sample like you can report all of this information in this way like table 5.1 or 4.1 it depends in which uh, math in which uh, portion of the thesis you are mentioning it like you can create three uh, tables so I'm going to create here like here so what I have to do now I'm going to insert option of the word file there I will find the table option and I'm going to create as many as rows and uh, I can create rows according to my variables and their categories and how much columns I need I need only three columns in first column I will mention sample characteristics and in second column I will mention frequency And in third column, I will mention percentage or you can mention the sign of the percentage. 
so next i have to do to mention gender my variable then i can mention the categories of this variable like male and female and next i can i can mention the uh, education and other things like the person who has mentioned here like gender age if you have meant uh, measured the age in categories then you can mention the age in this form but if you have measured the age in ratio form like you ask the par participant what is your age and you keep the space open for the participant then there is no need to mention it in this way you can simply mention the age in as per mean at the end of this table like here you can mention with the note the age of the participant was 23.2 average like you can mention this way so what other thing you have to mention like uh, level of education job tenure it all depends on the, your thesis in which area you are working you can mention demographic according to your thesis so a, here i have a sample you, what, what do you have to do you can you can simply click on this option and uh, i'm going to create it to keep it to the 12 so when you mention all of these details i'm going to pick from this one like i already created a table here in which social demographic characteristics the participant have mentioned and gender male female suppose if the table is in in this form with all the borders Normally, when you create the first time your table for APA style, you can simply get all this information from the output and uh, you have to manually add this information here. When you complete this whole table, you can simply go to this option and then you will select the no border option. Then you will select the first two first row and uh, you will mention the bottom border. Then you are going to click on the top border and then you will select the rest of the information and you will select the border, um, bottom border and then you will click on this option and uh, you will click on the bottom border option it will create a table like this form so initially when you create a table it has a lot of boxes but at the end you can create you can uh, diminish all the borders from no border option of the word and the table will be appeared in this way so here the table demographic profile of the survey respondents and how i have to report this information i will mention like table 5.1 summarizes demographic profile of the survey respondent in the study of the 394 respondent in the study that's a sample of your study 64.4 percent were female and 35.6 percent were male approximately half of the respondent were between 20 and 29 years old if you have taken the age information in the categories form and 23.2 were between this age for level of education 55.1 percent of the respondent had a completed four-year college degree followed by two year and you can mention the rest of information like this one so this is the way you can uh, report a table and this is the way you can create a table according to APA 7th edition. I hope you have liked this video. For more information, you can tell, tell us in the um, description or in the, in the comment box. And uh, you will get the details of the table from the description. Thank you for watching. Bye.